In this video, we're looking at some of the most popular paint colors for this year and probably the coming year as well. Now, as we go through these, we're also gonna look at some colors that are still a bit popular but are maybe slightly on their way out and then we'll see what they're being replaced by. Now, most of these colors really relate to your interior walls, although some people certainly use them on their trims, cabinets, exteriors. The idea is that we're gonna go through a wide range of neutrals and we'll even hit a few colors and some darker colors near the end. So let's get this party started with Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. Agreeable Gray has been trendy for a while and it is still trendy, but losing a little bit of favor. So when, when I hold it up like this, it's kind of hard to get a read on it, right? So when you're looking at lighter colors, get some white paper along with it so then you can really see its depth and sometimes even the undertones a bit better. So while Agreeable Gray is still kicking it, don't worry, we're seeing quite a bit of Benjamin Moore Edgecomb Gray which is a bit softer, warmer, a little bit more clay, organic looking. We're also seeing tons of Sherwin-Williams Drift of Mist, a really soft, warm off white, super flexible undertones, which I always like to see, so not really committed to green, pink, purple. Sherwin-Williams City Loft, which does commit to violet. Beautiful though, nice warm gray, but a taupe depending on your exposure in your room. Egret white, which I totally love. Gorgeous light gray, warm taupe, really gentle, subtle undertones. It's a lot like Edgecomb gray uh, and Drift of Mist and its lack of commitment to undertones, which is really nice. And if these interest you, write them down. I have blog post reviews on all of them and I probably have videos. If not, I will soon. Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige. So Accessible Beige came on the scene a few years ago with the whole modern farmhouse look, which is slowly going out of style. Although people are still doing it. I mean, you do you, boo, right? So Accessible Beige is definitely popular, but I find a lot of my clients want something a little bit lighter. Well, funny enough, they actually either want lighter or more committed depth, whereas Accessible Beige kind of sits in the middle in the light range. So while we still see Accessible Beige, and if you have these colors in your home, you're like, oh my God, they're not trendy anymore. Don't worry, they're still gorgeous, they're still awesome. And if they suit your finishes, that goes a long way. It's really when a home's committed, like, you know, the gray trend where everything was gray, like gray cabinets, walls, flooring, everything. That's when you get into a bit of a problem. But if your home has some nice balance to it, you don't need to worry. Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan, pretty popular. It's kind of like a, a lighter, warmer take on accessible beige, which is why it's been quite popular. Beautiful on cabinets too, and exteriors. Oh, this one's been hitting it hard. Sherwin-Williams Shoji White, beautiful off-white. While in some lights it can pick up an almost creamy vibe, there's a tiny bit of taupey pink in there for balance. It's really a fantastic color. Don't let the P pink words scare you because it's actually pretty friggin' fantastic. If you like it, also check out Sherwin-Williams White Duck, maybe Benjamin Moore Ballet White, Benjamin Moore Maritime White, definitely coming on the scene a lot more. This is a nice off-white beige, super flexible. The beige is from the 2000s, the ones that a lot of us are trying to update. They're, they're definitely not back in style and they probably won't be for a while because they were more rich and saturated. Today's trendy beiges are super subtle and a lot of them are quite light and soft, like a Benjamin Moore Maritime White. You might also check out, um, ooh, what's pretty, Sherwin-Williams Divine White and Moderate White, even though I prefer Maritime White to those, they're worth exploring. And Sherwin-Williams Aesthetic White, my heart. I love Aesthetic White because it's an off-white beige with quite a bit of gray in it. Let's just see, oh yeah. Like look at the shift there, right? Maritime white, aesthetic white. It almost looks gray in comparison, but it really has a great beige base to it, which is what people are really loving that it's winking at warmth without committing to like a legit orange, yellow, pink, red, that kind of thing, right? It's also fantastic. Like if you want a color drench and you're thinking, I wanna do my walls, trims, and cabinets the same color, aesthetic white is amazeballs, for real. Now, Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter, sure, gray, the trend isn't super popular anymore, but there's some grays that are reasonably timeless. It depends on how you use it. 
Revere Pewter is definitely one of those because it's a warm gray and it has an earthy kind of organic green undertone. It's a bit heavy in a lot of rooms, which is why many people are, where are we here? Are shifting to a color like Benjamin Moore Rodeo. Now it picks up a lot of what Revere Pewter throws down, a little bit lighter, a little bit more gentle, and also less committed to green undertone, which makes it a bit more flexible. I mean, personally, I love Revere Pewter. I will always love Revere Pewter. I have it painted on my cabinets and my interior doors, but I see the appeal in the softer look of Rodeo. And there's also Sherwin-Williams Modern Grey. Again, softer, lighter, that little bit of passive warmth that people are really enjoying. So for people who are like, oh, I don't want grey, but I'm so not into beige, tan, or cream, these kind of transitional colors are great. So like Modern Grey, uh, even Aesthetic White, Sherwin-Williams Egret White. They're really colors that bridge the gap a little bit, even though some of those do cater a little bit more gray than beige. They can be good, happy mediums. Ooh, a beautiful off-white. I love this one. Sherwin-Williams White Heron. So pretty. It has, a, like, it's almost like the love child of cream and taupe. You don't always know what you're going to get, but you know it's going to be that soft, kind of pretty brightness to it while still being earth-toned. Gorgeous. Ooh, if you're looking for a blue hue, a color like Sherwin-Williams Lullaby. I'm getting some requests for blue. More often than not, my clients in the lighter end, they prefer blue greens over blue violets, but we do have Sherwin-Williams Upwards, which is the color of the year, which, you know, not my favorite. Um, but, you know, you do you. Uh, Sherwin-Williams Evergreen Fog was the color of the year a couple of years ago. Still huge, hugely popular, but that's because greens are very popular right now in the darker end. Not so much in the lighter end, so if you're looking for some light greens in these, they're more personal opinion color versus mass appeal type of color. Now, for mass appeal, evergreen fog, wicked pretty, beautiful for cabinets, accent wall. Like, you can paint an entire room evergreen fog. If you're kind of into violets, seeing some smoky hues, like this one, Benjamin Moore Elephant Gray. So good, I love it. Nice earthy green, Benjamin Moore Antique Pewter, great for cabinets. Uh, Sherwin-Williams Felted Wool, gorgeous. Porpoise, a nice darker grayish, gorgeous, love it. Oh, this one has many hearts, Sherwin-Williams Retreat. Now it definitely commits to green, but it doesn't get too punchy about it. Like people are loving on this color, whole rooms, cabinets, accent walls, front doors, you name it, retreat is showing up. It's, it's coming up on exteriors too. But personally, I love the depth of pewter green. It just, oh, it is so yummy. I could eat this color. I could definitely paint my cabinets this color, if not my front door, accent wall. Ooh, yeah, Britannia blue. We are seeing some blues, they're not super colorful yet but I wouldn't say they're necessarily as grayed out as they have been, but that can depend on the home. A lot of people are still doing the darker gray islands, gray with a nice blue violet undertone, like Benjamin Moore Charcoal Slate, um, Ashland Slate, colors like that, but Britannia Blue, oh, I love it, I love it, love it. As far as black goes, black definitely had its moment on exteriors. We've seen a lot of black on black on black exteriors, and each to their own, but not every house can pull it off. We also see a lot of black interior doors. Again, each to their own. Would I do it? No, and I love Contrast. That's, it's too much for me in my home, but again, if you love it, you gotta do it. However, a lot of people are leaning a bit softer, so they're looking at warmer colors. I'm gonna say like Sherwin-Williams Urbane Bronze, Benjamin Moore Wrought Iron, which has a bit of blue in it, and Sherwin-Williams Iron Ore. Now, when you're looking at dark colors, you don't necessarily need the white paper, you need black to compare it to, so you can see what's shaken. And when we compare iron ore to tricorn black, we can see that beautiful softness in iron ore. And even it has a little wink of green in there, although you can hardly see it here, it is hiding in there. Iron ore is so gorgeous on islands, accent walls, front doors, exterior trim, you name it, iron ore could literally have it covered. So there are many more colors that could be considered popular and trendy. I wanted to hit the main ones. If you have any questions, please leave a comment.